For this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to change a domain's DNS. And the DNS is the address that web servers will try to find to locate your web address. Right now, we've bought our web hosting on Bluehost, but to show you this particular part, we're going to change the DNS on GoDaddy, which is where we bought our original domain name. As I've explained in the other tutorials, most of these sites have the same control panel or cPanel setups, so no matter which one you bought, this should be basically the same thing. First, I'm going to go ahead and log in to my domain. Once I'm into GoDaddy, I'm going to go to the domain dashboard of which page I'm trying to work on, and this one is WordPressTutorialHub.com. I'm going to scroll down. This gives me all my domain information, my domain enhancement, and related products. And down at the bottom, you'll see the name servers or the DNS manager. The DNS is the domain name servers manager. And right now, this gives you the information you need on the DNS. Over here, you see it says ns05.domaincontrol.com. This allows me to set my name servers or to manage my DS records. Now, if I want to, say, use the Bluehost hosting that I'd gotten earlier, I could go into the domain manager pull up my name servers tab and it shows me what right now my DNS is for this site which is ns1.bluehost.com and it also shows me the IP address. So let's say that we actually bought our web hosting on GoDaddy but had bought our name from Bluehost. So what I would do to change the name servers would be either to click set name servers and then choose whether you want to park your domain. If you want to forward your domains to your correct website if you have a hosting account with domains or if you have specific name servers for your domains. Let's say that I wanted to redirect from the website that hosts my name to the actual website that I have on my hosting. I'd click I have specific name servers and you'll see it comes up with a combination of letters and numbers then the name of the site dot com usually in name server one and name server two. If I go into Bluehost and look into my name servers, it'll give me ns1bluehost.com and ns2bluehost.com. These are my two correct name servers that I wish to change those to. So I'm going to right click, hit copy, I'm going to go back into my domain manager, go under the name server, and I'm going to paste, either by right clicking and hitting paste or control V or command V, depending if you have Windows or Mac. And I'm going to grab the second one as well and make sure that I've got the correct name servers under my name server box. You can also add more if necessary. Or as I said, you can forward your domains. So let's say you have an old website and you want all of your domains to forward to your new correct website. You can also click on that and it will show you how to forward your domains so people will be taken to your correct current site. And then click OK. Once that's done, it usually takes between two hours and two days for your name servers to be set correctly, but that will ensure that if someone comes to your website's name, they'll be taken to your current site. And you can also click on Manage DS Records. Now, since I've already put that I'm going to be changing this, it's not going to actually let me do anything with it now. But if you decide to change them in the future, you would just click on that and follow the instructions. This also shows you your DNS manager, and if you need your calendar, email, fax, or any of that DNS information, this is the information for those. Now there's usually one other way to forward all of your domains, and this one, in case you're using a cPanel, I'm going to show you in Bluehost, because as I said, most cPanels are pretty much the same, depending on which hosting service you get. And if you scroll down, you'll see in the cPanel, it has that you can go to your domain manager, if you go into your cPanel, you'll see that you can also go to redirects, and this will redirect any old website name you already have, and it can be redirected to your new website. So what you would do is make it permanent or temporary, and then put in all public domains that are under the name that you have bought. In this case, it's going to be WordPressTutorialHub.com. And also, if you have a backslash, so let's say if you have a subdirectory that is members or specials, something like that, you can put that backslash in that subdirectory in and then redirect it to the website where you want it to go. You'll also have a choice if you want to only redirect if people type in www, if you want to redirect with or without www, because not all people use um, the www at the beginning, or if you don't want to redirect if the person uses www. 
and click wildcard redirect if you want to make sure that every subdomain for this site will go back to the appropriate domain and click on add. So those are two different methods of going in and setting your name servers and forwarding your websites if necessary. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to teaching you the next time. Thanks for listening.